Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna bring you one artificial intelligence stock that's down 35% off the high that makes an excellent purchase right now for long-term investors. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's see what this growth stock is and why I think investors should own this going forward. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So the AI stock that I'm talking about that's also a growth stock is Symbotech. Symbotech stock price is down 35% off the high and I think this is an excellent time to buy this stock on the dip. So let me share with you a few reasons why I think that's the case. So one of the reasons is revenue growth, but before we look at its revenue growth, let's look at the total addressable market for artificial intelligence. According to Statista, the total addressable market for artificial intelligence is expected to grow to $1.85 trillion by the year 2030. That would be up significantly from the $207.9 billion in 2023. Artificial intelligence is popularized by large language models like ChatGPT, but there are more applications like driverless car technology, recommender systems, and more. The companies that stand to benefit from the growth in this AI surge is companies like Amazon, Nvidia, Alphabet, Microsoft, and more. Investors getting in today could realize exponential returns from investments that capitalize on the growing effectiveness of artificial intelligence. So with that being said, and seeing how massive this opportunity could be, Symbotech's revenue of $1.177 billion in the most recent trailing 12 months is just a small part of that massive total market opportunity. And if Symbotech continues offering solutions to warehouses that helps lower costs, I think they're going to continue to be highly sought after for several years going forward. Now, let's look at the next reason why I like this stock. And that is because it has demonstrated economies in scale. Economies in scale is one of the most desirable characteristics you can find in an investment. In the example I have created here, Sales grow from $100 in year one to $115.76 in year four, while net income more than doubles from $4.50 to $9.47 in year four. This company demonstrates economies in scale. As its revenue grows, its profits grow by a larger magnitude. Not every company can achieve this kind of effective growth. Here's how it works. This is a typical categorization of an income statement of a publicly traded company. Cost of goods sold is what's called a variable expense. That means cost of goods sold is connected to sales. Other expenses like interest, general and admin, and depreciation are not connected to sales. You can see here depreciation stays the same at 25 whether sales increase or not. The same is true for interest expense. It stays the same whether sales grows or not. You can understand your interest payments do not increase when your sales increase. Overall, businesses typically have a mixture of fixed expenses that are unrelated to sales and variable expenses that are. When sales increase, the business leverages those fixed expenses as we see in this example and profits grow by a larger magnitude than the increase in sales. So now that you understand how important economies and scale are, you can see Symbotech's operating profit margin has increased from negative 50% all the way up to negative 18.97%. And as I usually say on this channel, I'm okay with companies that generate negative profit margin so long as they demonstrate economies and scale and improving operating profitability or making progress towards that as their revenue grows. And Symbotech clearly demonstrates that, right? You can see this nice upward trajectory in its operating profitability. Furthermore, analysts on Wall Street expect that Symbotech will increase its revenue by another 45% 
in its fiscal year 2025 after growing another 48% in its fiscal year 2024, followed by two years of over 40% revenue growth. They expect another 52% revenue growth in 2026. Those increases are expected to fuel surging profitability for Symbotech with expectations of earnings per share of two cents in the fiscal year that ends in September 2024 and soaring up to 60 cents in 2025 before jumping to a dollar four cents in 2026. So over the next couple of years, Symbotech's profitability is expected to explode higher to a dollar and four cents up from just two cents in 2024, the year that ends in September for Symbotech. Along with growing profitability, the company is demonstrating increasing cash flow from operations to sales. After hitting negative 25%, its 19.61% was a significant improvement. It's now generating positive cash flow from operations, meaning the business can be self-sustaining from here on out because its cash flow from operations is solidly positive. Furthermore, it's making improvements in profitability, which is going to lead to increasing profit margin and cash flow from operations going forward. Finally, let's look at valuation. Symbotech is trading at a price to earnings. The price to earnings ratio is an important financial metric I use to determine which stock is more expensive or if a stock is too expensive. Let me show you this example here. I have two stocks, one trading at a market price of $100 and one trading at a market price of $12. The one trading at a market price of $100 has an earnings per share of $2.58, while the other has an earnings per share of just 11 cents. When we look at their price to earnings ratio, the one trading at a market price of 100 is trading at a price to earnings of 38.76, while the one trading at a market price of $12 is trading at a price to earnings of 114. So in this example, the one trading at a market price of 12 is actually more expensive because I'm, tr I'm paying 114 times earnings to purchase this stock. That means if the company was to pay me earnings per share every year as a dividend, it would take 114 years for me to receive my money back. Whereas the other stock, it would pay me back in 38.76 years. Now, there's a lot more to think about in this equation, but to simplify, that's an example that shows you why a company with a market price higher can actually be cheaper than a company with a market price that's lower. So now that you understand why price to earnings is the way to look at valuation, you can see it's trading at a forward price to earnings of 68.07. Now that on its own might look expensive, but relatively speaking, this is about on the lower end where this stock has traded for in the last couple of years. And when you have a company that's growing earnings as rapidly as Symbotech is, it makes it relatively cheap to purchase it at these valuations because the earnings growth rate is faster than the price to earnings ratio. Earnings are gonna grow from two cents per share all the way up to a dollar and four cents per share, which if we look at the rate of growth, I mean for 2025, that's 3,922% rate of growth and then another 72% of growth in earnings per share for the next couple of years. So paying a forward PE of 68 is relatively favorable when you've got that kind of explosive growth expected over the next few years. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you wanna see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.